Partial invoicing is fairly straightforward. When you have a job that needs partial invoicing and you have enabled the partial invoice add-on, next to par produce invoice you'll see a drop-down. If you have multiple invoice templates they'll be visible, but below them you'll see new partial invoice. On this screen is where you will define what your partial invoice will include. If you've set up your line items to be in the phase of work you want, you can just simply select that phase of work and that will become your partial invoice. I find this very rare that teams set up their invoicing in this manner. Uh, if you do, great. Uh, but by and large, most teams just simply need to take a, a percentage deposit or an amount deposit or whatever your partial invoice will look like. So on this screen, just simply add material. And I'd recommend setting up a item for deposit or whatever you're going to typically work with. And you can put whatever you want in the item name. Deposit's fine in my case. And let's say in this case, it, this is a $300 job. I'm going to take half uh, up front. So I'm going to set this for $150. So now I have a $300 original job. This will create a $150 new job. If you'll notice as well, it says this is job 877. This will create 877A. Uh, just for note, even if you produce multiple partial invoices over the life of the job. Uh, this screen will always say A even if you're on B, C, D or whatever letter of the alphabet you may be on at that time. Uh, but it will automatically put in the correct letter at that point. And if I hit confirm, that will automatically create a new replicate job from the original. It does put this partial invoice on the job diary of this job. Um, you want to basically ignore that though. You're not going to work with that at all virtually on this job. Um, and it does produce a new line item on your original job. So I'm still in job 877. And if you'll notice, I have a new line item referencing 877A with a negative quantity of 1 for 150, which automatically makes it a negative 150, leaving a balance of, again, 150. To send that partial invoice to the customer, you don't do that from the original job. Once this is here, just hit save. And depending on how you have your job list set up, uh, whether you're looking at all jobs or whatever it might be, you may need to go sort of look for this job again. But in this case, I just simply, since I was searching for the customer, I pulled that, that search again and I have 877, the original job, and now 877A. If I open up that job, basically the only thing in here is going to be that deposit line item as far as billing is concerned. And from there, I can go ahead and send this to the customer. So I can just hit email, select my invoice template, and attach that invoice, and I'm ready to go. Um, this way here, the customer pays on the partial invoice job, which we want them to do because when we connect this to our accounting platforms, we still want to keep the original job for active production of work but the partial invoice is automatically marked completed so that way it's ready to be approved and sent to your accounting platform. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.